I'm Carrie Normand, and I'm asking you to vote for me again so that I can continue to represent Ward 7 on the Somerville School Committee. I've lived in Somerville for 25 years, and I am the proud parent of a 2019 Somerville High School graduate and a rising sophomore. I have been active in the Somerville Public Schools as a reading tutor, a member of the Special Education Parent Advisory, a PTA member since the days my boys began elementary school. For the past six years, I have been Ward 7 School Committee representative. My network is both broad and deep across Ward 7 and all of Somerville. This makes me an effective representative and the best candidate for your vote this November. I know firsthand the positive impact public schools can make. I grew up in poverty with a single mother and three sisters. Going to college was not a given. I was lucky to have a neighbor who cared enough to coach me through the application process. Without him, I might not have attended and graduated from Wesleyan University. Preparing our students, each and every individual for success after high school, cannot be a matter of luck. Each learner deserves to graduate with the skills needed to continue their pursuits, be it in college or joining the workforce. I voted to create the first college and career advisory position and I have since voted to expand these essential services. I have also voted to enhance Somerville High School's course offerings and enrichment opportunities. I supported the partnerships with Breakthrough Greater Boston and Enroute, organizations working with students who are the first in their families to go to college. Specifically in Ward 7, I have advocated for creating a pre-kindergarten class at the West Somerville Neighborhood School and for expanding after school time for our youngest students. Every week I devote time to assist teachers and help with tutoring students at the West Somerville School. I've taught memoir writing at the Somerville Council on Aging and soon I'll be joining the board of 3L Place, a learning center for individuals with intellectual and developmental challenges located in our neighborhood. Creating inclusive and equitable learning community drives my leadership pursuits. Initially, I ran for school committee to raise the level of expectations and services for special education students. As a parent, I recognize the need to draw more attention to the strengths of this population of learners. Since then, I've tapped my professional expertise as a special education advocate to strengthen and build inclusive learning environments. While significant improvements have been made, I am motivated to run for my fourth term to continue the important work of narrowing the achievement gap, ensuring equitable resource allocation, and designing a culturally responsive curriculum. Having just completed a certificate in education finance from the Edunomics Lab at Georgetown University, I have sharpened my ability to continue to steward these goals. One of my first school committee votes was to make educating and caring for the whole child the district's number one priority instead of setting goals around MCAS scores, as was done previously. Students are more than test scores. We must develop the intellectual, social, emotional, and physical potential of each of our learners and provide them with the skills, opportunities, and resources to nurture their well-being. One of my earliest votes was to fund and support new local assessments that serve as the foundation of the Massachusetts Consortium for Innovative Education Assessment a response to the understandable concerns regarding MCAS. This fundamental yet innovative shift for, from standardized tests to performance assessments gives teachers the flexibility and the room to be creative. With your vote, this November, I will continue to advocate for distributive leadership and respecting the expertise of our educators. Currently, the, the school committee is developing an equity policy. This policy aims to ensure that demographics don't determine the destiny of Somerville learners. We have mapped out a three-prong initiative to catalyze innovation. We will examine the budgeting practices to more closely align resources with student needs, analyze student enrollment patterns, and develop a human capital plan to more closely reflect the demographics of our student body. While this is important systemic work that will take time to come fully to fruition, we have to act now and that's why I'm asking for your vote. Since I've been on school committee, we've expanded out of school programming, enacted a new hiring policy, expanded early education, significantly increased community partnerships, strengthened middle grade programming, 
increase access to mental health services, and we are currently working on redesigning the educational plan for Somerville High School and Next Wave Full Circle. It's easy to take the change in Somerville Public Schools over the last six years for granted. The work isn't always flashy or dramatic, and I'm the first to admit we need to do a better job at celebrating the innovation taking place in each of our neighborhood schools. We've built a robust framework for change. I want to continue to lead the momentum to see it through. I'm running for my fourth term because I have a demonstrated record of achieving progressive policies that benefit the students of Ward 7 and the city as a whole. I have the knowledge, the relationships, and the experience needed to move this work forward. One of my most important responsibilities is listening to the residents of Ward 7, and I welcome hearing from you, whether it's through email or office hours, by phone, in person, and I ask for your vote on November 5th. Thank you. Thank you.